What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team, stand up! All flight, no fear, August is here. Now, how many of you guys have gone fishing before? Raise your hands. I haven't gone fishing, honestly, since I was going to ninth grade, I think. It was, I was with my grandma and I was with my sister. Um, that was the last time I went fishing. Um, it's been a minute. Um, it's actually pretty fun. I just, I, you know, I just don't, you know, never get a chance to really do it. Caught a couple of fish, took a couple of W's, took a couple of L's in it. You know what I'm saying? But apparently, try not to get scared. We have top 10 scary fishing videos caught on camera. Apparently, there were scary moments while people were fishing. I mean, you would think that even I had the sense. Like, if I felt like the, the, the hook rod or whatever is too heavy to pull in or I felt like my body was just about to be yanked, I would just always have a sense to just let go. Like, but some people want to be so brave and just think they're damn Superman and... The Incredible Hawk and think they can just <laughs> you know, like like what you gonna do? You gonna pull a megalodon out of the damn ocean, man? Well, it's like pulling a damn uh, a, a a truck, bro, like a moving truck. Anyway, man, let's check it out. Maybe there's a backstory to this. Maybe there's different ways. Maybe a fish can grow legs or something. On this channel, we often explore the weird, creepy things that go bump in the night. But what about 100% real scary encounters caught on camera in the middle of a nice sunny day of fishing? All right, bro, I'm sorry. If you're going to do this the most and just start going this deep out in the lake and you just, you know, I mean, you're asking for it. You never know what's in a lake. It could be an alligator or something, bro. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Stay on the land. Actually, so many scary fishing moments that I decided to do 10. So here are the top 10 scary fishing videos caught on camera. Hey man, if you jump scared, get scared or whatever, I'm not responsible, by the way. Seafood. Seafood? Now you might be wondering if this is supposed to be a top 10 list of scary fishing videos, then why is the first video about divers? Well, these two men who are diving off the coast of Central California aren't fishing. Oh, California. But something in the water is. What is it? <laughs> bro, I can never go diving, bro. Y'all crazy if y'all actually do that, bro. You act like a shark can't get lost just like a random, like, you know... What's going on? Oh no! Oh my gosh! No, 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 no! The whales, they spit people back out, right? Whoa, they didn't get caught in the whale? Clean that <laughs> so nobody got caught in a whale. Men come just a little too close to being an accidental lunch for a couple of oh. black whales chasing a school of fish. Bro, fam, because like the thing is that whales don't even target humans, and I know this because I fuck with science. I average a C in science. I told you guys, you know what I'm saying? Like I actually mess with science. You get that's just something that subject in a class they need to actually teach that that's useful. But look. Whales actually don't eat humans. They accidentally candle. It actually has happened. And sometimes people don't get lucky enough because, like, sometimes what the whale does, if it feels like something's not supposed to be in their mouth, they spit it out from their horn on the top of their head. That's why they come to the surface. So they, they, they spit out that water so they can breathe. And sometimes, you never know, they cannot even come back down for, like, another 20, 30 minutes. You trapped in another animal body, like, that's too long. Bro, that's damn... I didn't see that come. I thought it was gonna be a shark or something like that, just about to run up on them, bro. But that whale, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. You can, I can never go diving, bro. Fuck when that you're fishing shit. and a group of sharks start swarming around your boat, the first rule is don't try to pet the shark. Uh, really? People pet sharks? Come on, man. Stop, bro. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're about to be that dude's fucking dinner. Damn, bro. I don't know. 
Bro, he almost had some KFC, bro. He almost had Popeyes, bro. He, bro, hey, that shark was about to just go down to the damn grocery store and just get some bread. He was about to have a Popeye sandwich, bro. Why would you pet a shark? Come on, man. You lucky you even have your hand. It didn't even do any damage. Like, why? How are you? Why, how would you even have balls being a short ass boat like that surrounded by 50 plus sharks? I just. People just be asking for just certain things Don't sometimes. The shark. It's not a puppy. Bro, and he almost fell in. His homie's just sitting there recording. He didn't even. Got your nose. Got your this nose. Fishing video oh man is sticking no! His head underwater and yanking fish out of the mud bed with his bare hand. That doesn't look like a good when idea. Something goes wrong. Yeah, you know, something's probably gonna go wrong. You're not supposed to be. Don't do that. I don't think you want to do that. It's not a good idea. Oh! What did he do? His friend ran away. What the hell? His friend ran away. Where are you going? The snake bit him. Now there's some debate online as to whether this video is real or whether the man actually just put the living snake on his nose himself. Well, I say if he let an actual water snake bite onto his nose that hard while his buddy yanked and pulled on it, uh, then he wins. That's real enough for me. We can even see the bro, snake. Bro, his friend just away ran away, head. bro. There's it was no gone. Doubt that it's a real snake. His friend ran it's away. Not a petting zoo, part two. Because of YouTube's new stricter content rules, I have woman was not seriously hurt in any way. So. When you're out fishing and a group of sharks start swarming around your boat, the second rule is, and she seems to have learned her lesson. Be mindful of your surroundings and don't. <laughs> he said, he said, he said, oh shit, oh shit, he, she, he said she for the waters, man. She not for the streets, she for the water, bro. I'm dead. Oh my gosh, bro. He didn't even move a muscle, fam. He sat in one place. Oh my gosh. Fam, I didn't even see that the first time. That was funny. He didn't even move a muscle, bro. <laughs> you got the simp right here over here trying to rescue her. This is a very good Nah, play. She needed to be rescued, though, all jokes aside. Don't want to fish or go into the water. She could have been taken inside the water. This is you're not supposed to feed sharks. That's common sense. Is that a Loch Ness monster? Piranha will eat other fish, they'll eat red meat, and they'll even eat each other. Piranha attacks on humans oh. are rare, but do occur. Piranhas fish usually are deadly. attack the hands or feet, and a large piranha can actually bite off a finger or toe with their sharp, powerful teeth. Tag, you're it. Tag, now, this you're guy it. isn't technically fishing, but again, something else in the water is. And in yet another shark lesson, we learn. Don't ever chase a giant shark on a jet ski. Bruh. Why, bro? Get away, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> the shark took a little nibble out of the jet ski. This man said a little nibble out of the jet ski. hopefully <laughs> learned a lesson. If you chase a giant shark, it will chase you back. No shit. <laughs> Unintentional aggression. Unintentional aggression. Despite what you might see in movies, the anaconda snakes of South America will not usually attack a human being unless they feel threatened. But sometimes that threat isn't intentional. This fisherman is just taking his boat out along the shore. My man, what are you screaming for, bro? Just roll away. You're good, bro. Just go away. What did you scream like that? Then there's the polar opposite. Like these guys who are out fishing and decide to beat on brush in an area where they think a giant anaconda is hiding. Ain't no way you're that dumb. Hey, my man's in a boat, said. 
Tá filmando, tá filmando. Olha só o tamanho da Olha o tamanho, cara. Não, não. Tá no ataque, não. Olha só o tamanho. Olha aqui, cara. Here it comes, probably. Oh my gosh. You better go away, bro. It's your chance now. You still have a chance. Why are you messing with it, bro? Apparently, once the giant angry serpent decides to come out to meet them, their bravery seems to fade. The worst joke ever. The worst Somewhere joke in ever. in China, a bunch of fishermen are doing some ice fishing on a frozen pond. But things soon go very wrong. They fished on an unstabilized pond. Though. What the heck? Now, I'm not sure what's more disturbing in this video. The men falling through the ice and freezing water while they desperately cling to the edges and try to avoid death, or the reaction of the other fishermen who just seem to giddily scream and laugh at them while they struggle for their lives. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> Revenge from the sea. Kevin Faber and Brad Deckard are fishing off the coast of Florida. While Kevin is trying to reel in his catch, they get an unexpected visitor. Oh, wow, that's something big. You see that big flash of silver? Yes, I did. Oh, what's up, the man? Oh, no, oh. Look out, look out, look out. Oh, a barracuda. Yeah, those are bad. Them things bite, man. Now, if you're wondering why two very experienced fishermen are so afraid of a fish, then let me introduce you to the 40 pound giant barracuda. This species is known for its powerful jaws, aggressive behavior, and razor sharp teeth. Facts. And even if you could get past all that, Barracuda can't even be eaten because they're usually poisonous. It's just all bad. Oh, no, oh. Look out, look out, the scooter. <laughs> Outer rescue. Now this next story isn't exactly frightening to humans but it does involve a very justifiably terrified sea otter. Dusty Harpole was out fishing in Alaska's Tutka Bay when he came upon two killer whales swimming together. Hmm. For some reason, they seemed to be circling the area. He soon discovered what was going on. The two killer whales were stalking a mother sea otter and her pup. Uh-oh. Unfortunately, the hungry whales had already gotten her pup. Oh! The mother otter was desperately trying to escape as the whales hunted her too. The quick-thinking otter swims straight for Dusty's boat and hops on board to hide. That's what she's wanting to do. <laughs> I don't blame her. Oh, there she is. Woo!
Mama knows English? Oh, shit. Oh, that's cool. Otters look kind of cool, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Otters look kind of cool, yo. Yo, get it away from the engine, bro. Killer whale swim right by, unaware that the mama otter has made her escape to the boat above. Dusty cranks up his engine and speeds the mama otter away to safety. After she was safe and a truly heartbreaking piece of video, uh, Mother Otter begins crying out for her lost pup, uh, who will never return. Damn. So depressing, man, hearing that. Just looking at the damn. Uh, anyway, man. As usual, man. Coming up a little later, that's next, man, on the road. Three million.